Hello and welcome. Um, if you are using a Panasonic or KDK ceiling fan, the one with the remote control, after a few years you may encounter issues like the fan slowing down or is noisy during operation. Well, if you can encounter that, most probably you have issues with the circuit board or more specifically you might have issues with the capacitors of the board and usually it's quite cheap to just replace the capacitors uh, it's just a few ringgit uh, you can buy online or you can just go to your your local electronics store they usually have stock on these uh, components because these are very common failure items and you can also purchase the entire board if you want the easy way but uh, the board is around I think 40 to 80 ringgit depending on where you get them so replacing the capacitors itself will be a lot cheaper as usually the capacitors they don't all die at the same time uh, usually it could be just this one or it's just this one or maybe two of these uh, for for this board it's uh, three of it uh, as you can see these two have been replaced this one also have been replaced the original capacitor is uh, this uh, Shizuki brand this one have been replaced with a non-branded one and uh, I'll teach you how to diagnose and uh, replace the capacitors in a short while okay so this will be a quick video on how to repair this uh, Panasonic ceiling fan modules or control board what we can call it okay first of all I'm not an expert I'm just a hobby enthusiast so just to get that straight but then I fix quite a number of these because my house uses these ceiling fans for the entire house, so I think I have like 8 or 9 of these and I think I changed basically all of it already yeah, I think this one is actually the second round of fixing or third round yeah, so they fail quite often so the tools you need will be a multimeter that can that can read capacitance a soldering iron decent, decent skills in soldering and uh, hopefully you should have a decent amount in electronics as well not say not very advanced just a basic knowledge on how to use multimeters and uh, how to how to interpret the readings okay first of all the there are five capacitors on the board one two three four five which is here this one used to be here and this one used to be here this is a 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor this is a 0 0.82 microfarad capacitor this is a 1.8 microfarad 450 volt capacitor this is a 5.0 microfarad this is 2.9 microfarad so basically what you do is to make sure sorry I mean to measure each of these capacitors and make sure that it is within the range uh, for these two these three capacitors you can test while it's on the board but for these two capacitors you have to uh, unsolder one leg in order to test it because there is a resistor in between the two terminals which will not allow you to measure the capacitance while it's still soldered onto the board so for here I'll show you an example this one here I, I already desoldered it because these two are faulty okay, I'll compare with a new one this is the new capacitor, this is the old one, hey, sorry, this is the, this is the new capacitor, this is the old one. Okay, so... This is the old capacitor. As you can see, the reading is around 84. 84 nanofarad, this is supposed to be a 0.82 0.82 microfarad capacitor 0.82 microfarad is 820 nanofarad so this is only showing it is only showing 82 84 microfarad this is way below what is supposed to be this is a brand new one this is what the reading is supposed to be okay it's 820 which is uh, close enough this one is 0.1 microfarad 0.1 will be 100 nanofarad on this uh, multimeter so let's check 50 microfarad 50 nanofarad sorry 50 nanofarad a brand new one is supposed to be it's a brand new one 
the brand new one reads so it's supposed to read 100 nanofarad uh, 91 nanofarad yep about there so this is a 1.8 microfarad take some time for the larger ones 1.8 microfarad right on point so this one here I'll show you this one I had already desoldered it desolder one So again, this will take a bit of time for it to measure. 5.12 microfarad. 5.0 microfarad is correct. And I'll show you what happens if you try to measure the capacitor without desoldering it for now. You can see the multimeter will just go on non-stop. It will just read like that forever. So for my board, the faulty ones is these two capacitors. So I'll just replace these two and the fan should be good to go. Okay, thank you for watching this quick video. I hope you can repair your Panasonic fan with the help of this video. Thank you.